How's it going guys? In this video I'm going to be showing you a crazy duos win I got with the Spitfire. I've noticed that usually when I play Apex I'm too trigger happy and I push way sooner than probably my skill allows. So this game I was really trying to take it slower and to think about each move before making it. If you enjoy this video please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and with that being said let's go ahead and jump right into it. So here we're just landing, trying to loot up, do the normal Apex stuff, you know. I'll just speed through it. Switch the EVA 8 for the Peacekeeper. I don't know, I love the Peacekeeper, I just tend to miss my shots with it, so... I don't end up actually keeping it either. I find the Rampage, I really like this gun. I go up to the roof, get a couple of things, and I'll end up heading back down. I actually find a purple Evo shield on the ground. And then this is where I switch the Peacekeeper for the R9. I don't know where I'm going. <laughs> I start to head back in the building, but I hear footsteps, so I run back to my teammate. I didn't realize we weren't together, really. I know they're in there, I'm just looking for them. I can hear them running around. My first instinct is to just start shooting. I do it every single time, and they in, now they know where we're at, and I'm completely broken. Take a few more pot shots. I honestly don't know how she didn't die right there. And then I turn towards the seer. She has a few good shots in on me. Just one little armor bar. Once I knock him, then I tell our teammate to push. I don't know why I double jumped here. I thought it was going to get my teammate killed. I was so mad at myself, but it didn't. We loot up for a little bit, and then we realize the ring is coming in. I always forget that the first few rings don't really hurt you. So I'm always just so scared of them for no reason. But we decide to go on the balloon just to get towards the ring. I heard shooting here so that's why I land like an idiot. Don't pay attention to that. We do end up seeing some fighting going on right here. But my teammate was low on shields and I was low on heavy ammo. So we decided to make our way to the ring and hold out whoever survived through these fights. I don't think they end up actually ever coming this way. But I miss a lot of shots, so I do not have enough heavy ammo for the rampage. Yeah, we assumed we were going to be fighting, so he dropped me a little bit more. I definitely did not just try and jump through a closed window. Making our way towards the ring, just looting up some more. We thought surely by now we'd see someone or hear fighting, but there was nothing.
Now I'm starting to get a little annoyed that I'm passing a ton of ammo and don't have a big enough backpack to hold it. We do see someone to the north, so we are slowly making our way towards the ring and paying attention to that. We are trying to go and third party them as quick as possible. Pass through Hill Valley into Countdown. And then we start making our way to the left a little bit to get a better angle on the fighting that we hear up ahead. I was itching for a fight by this point. They're fighting someone off in the distance. They had no clue we were even here, so we get the easy third party. I never like taking Ash's portal in duos, because if there's someone just waiting on the other side, then they kill both of you immediately. Take a few pot shots, she got a good shot on me, so I regroup. That's when I see that the enemy that we killed might have a care package weapon. I see that Spitfire, I know I have to have it, but I'm getting shot at. I run around like a retard and then I go and pick it up real quick. And as soon as I pick it up, it feels like the whole server just closes in on us. We hear footsteps from behind, so I fry that dude. I miss almost every shot on that guy. I decide to run around this rock to get the knock and distract the other enemy so my teammate could kill him. I do quite a bit of damage on them. And then pretty much as soon as this fight's over, we have a second or two to loot up and then there's another enemy pushing us. You can see him on the zip line in the back. We hear them, but I'm trying to find some more stuff. I always take way too long to loot. I knock one of them, and then instead of hiding behind the rock and shielding up, I immediately ego chow and get put on my ass. Luckily my teammate's a saint, and he swoops in to save me. But that's just another example of me being too aggressive. I got too cocky with the Spitfire. And I paid the price for it. Another example of me taking way too long to loot. I just keep second guessing myself. I don't know what exactly I need to keep and what I don't. There's another team here pushing us, or we thought they were going to push us, but they kind of just stand there. They shoot at us a couple of times, but they basically just soak up some of my ammo, and then they end up just running away. Yo, we should def check out that care package. Kind of just hiding behind the box. I'm looking around to make sure no one sneaks up on us because I'm weirded out by this fight and then they end up running. I thought maybe they were going to try and push over there to get a different angle on us, but no, they just Bangalore smoke out of there. Normally I'd push them and probably end up dying, but I was talking to my teammate and we thought it'd be smarter to go around the back of the mountain and go through the tunnel and actually try and hold them out. The whole time we're sitting here, I'm second guessing whether to take the Rampage or the R99. I'm glad I ended up sticking with the R99, but it's just showing you how indecisive I am. We assume that they're going to go through the tunnel to get to the circle. So we're going to go to the other side and meet them there. Oh 
Just making our way, trying to beat them to the entrance. We don't know where the last squad is, but we hope that by fighting this team, we find them, and we do. We know we're not in a good position right here with them above us, and then we actually see that the tower on the other side of the mountain is in the ring. So we're going to actually go and push to it. I have to go challenge this. That was kind of confusing how I downed someone, but he was still moving. He almost got me, but I had the Spitfire, so he got fucked. Here I'm looking for heals, but by the time my slow ass actually drops things and makes room, I'm pretty much healed up all the way. Make our way towards the tower. I don't know why that third squad didn't push here while we were inside the tunnel, but this pretty much cemented our win. And then that's why I was really glad I kept the R99, because I love the R301. Here we were talking about, we were hoping that they would take the zip line down there so we could get easy shots on them, but they weren't that stupid. Although they did kind of just drop down to not much cover and then immediately split up. The caustic ran far right and then the seer stayed on the left. I don't know if they were planning on doing that or if the caustic just kind of ran and the seer wasn't ready. And then here, once the seer wastes his ultimate, we knew it was over with. We just had to hold the high ground as long as we could. Once that next ring starts closing in, then we are going to push behind that supply bin in the middle. And that'll be over with. Basically just putting pressure on them, trying to scare them, not let them get comfortable. There's just not much these guys could have done. Just talking about where we're going to go. Once the ring closes in, the seer makes it to his friend, but we're not too worried about it. Teammate got a good shot on him right there. Pretty sure he broke him, that's why he shot that thing. And here we push. Again, I didn't take the ash thing, I didn't want to ruin it right at the end. We hear them pushing up, so he goes right to flank them. I push up, I spit fire the hell out of the gas, I don't see them, I down one of them. I look right, I push to the 301, and I down him easy. And that's game. I did get more kills than him, but he matched, or almost matched me in damage, so I feel like that might actually be better. So yeah, if you made it this far in the video, then thank you so much for watching. Leave a like telling me what you thought, or to just say hi, and I'll see you in the next one.